Pisces, welcome in. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for you, our water signs, Pisces. Good to have you here. Thank you for coming into the channel. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers as well. Please feel free to swap around the energies as need be throughout the reading. And any time that you do come across this message and the title drew you in, was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Pisces, should reflect some aspect in your current situation. Doesn't have to re reflect the whole situation as well as and or an inner knowing so take what fits and if it doesn't fit don't try to make it fit just means the reading might be meant for somebody else this week but for those of you that this does resonate with i'm going to have an extended at the end of this reading i'm going to dive deeper into the message by exploring the zodiac signs that come through come on you guys work with me those zodiac signs coming through can be about intimate connections as well as and or background players Friends, family, blended family, relatives, cousins, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, colleagues, work associates, social media friends, anybody that kind of influences your energetic field. <clears throat> and even if you don't know their zodiac sign, you will recognize the sign when I read the energies as it comes up in the extended. So let's get started for you. This is a message for Pisces. Moon sun and rising this is a message for pisces moon sun and rising this is a message for those watching please message for pisces moon sun and rising message for pisces moon sun and rising Message for those watching, please. One more time. It's for Pisces. Moon, sun, and rising. All right, Pisces, here we go. So, overall energetic theme for the reading you have the page of wands so this is um a new direction could be something to do with ambition could be something to do with a desire could have something to do with um a passion so let's see what your current energy is ace of swords um this is about authenticity and realism and um, truth. Something that really matters to you that isn't fabricated. All right, so let's see what your situation is. We have the moon, secrets, mysteries, the unknown. Let's see what your challenge or your opportunity is in this situation, however you wanna look at this. We have the Six of Wands. So this is perseverance through something where you want to come out um, on the other side as winning, <laughs> being seen, um, overcoming, being on top, coming out smelling sweet. Let's see what um, life is co-creating with you. We have the Ten of Wands, so this could be about taking responsibility for something, um, pushing through the barriers, maybe asking for help or delegating some responsibilities to other people around you, but we'll see where that goes. So up until now, what have you been doing in this situation? What, what has kind of, what have you kind of mastered already? We have the Nine of Wands. <laughs> too much responsibility um this could be like trial and error as well um but maybe you're taking on too much we'll get some clarity on that as well so what's heading your way within the next zero to three months we have the eight of swords you're going to untangle yourself from some of this stuff too much is on your plate right now I think you're trying to wanting to lighten the load here or trying to sort out like what do I need what do I don't need 
But what's coming in is the opportunity to be able to unravel yourself. Release some of this. Untie yourself from it. Unhook, so to speak. So once this opportunity arrives for you, what are your strengths in this situation? Ace of Wands. You, you are passionate about wanting to do something different. Um, it's almost like a drive or being driven. And that is your strength right now. So what are the outside influences that are influencing this situation? We got the Emperor. Could have an Aries or a fire sign. Someone with a lot of fire energy. Someone with a lot of authority. Somebody who's calling the shots. Your next steps in this situation is a Four of Pentacles. I think this is about staying grounded more in your own knowing. Um, taking what works for you and making it continue to work for you. Whatever that is. This can be situational or this can be relational. However this relates to you, here is where you are using your discernment and your inner knowing on what kind of like hits you right there like, yep, and then what kind of like, mm, it's not quite on. Um, but this is about taking what you've learned and making it work, work for you. So what is this really all about? What is this, what's going on here? We have the hanged man. Um, I think you're feeling like you're sacrificing a lot here. And, and are all these sacrifices worth it? Is this what this is really all, supposed to be all about? So how is this all going to play out for you? We have the King of Swords. That's always a good one to have in your how it's going to play out. Um, I think that you're going to be um, analyzing a lot of things in your life. Looking at things more from a perspective of um, judge and jury. Is this working? Is this not working? Is this adding value? What is this doing? What is this over here doing? How is this fitting in? You're going to make some judgment calls and take some actions on it. And I think you're going to be able, once you kind of clear the fog, so to speak, you're going to be able to see things for what they really are and be able to start taking action on it. So let's find out what the moon is right here because it kind of seems like there are things going on. You feel the heaviness of it, but it feels like you're so, you feel something's off. Something's off. Something doesn't feel right. Um, we've got the Three of Pentacles, so it could have something to do with your job, people you work with, people who are in your immediate vicinity, friends, family, people who are close to you. We have another three, Three of Wands. To me, this kind of looks like what's really going on here. Could have some people that maybe are just kind of turning your back to a situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Something's not moving forward. Or something wants to move forward. Or something keeps happening over and over again. And we have the Seven of Swords. So, um, maybe you're feeling a little bit misled, misguided. Um, I think you're learning stuff through this process of um, the people that are around you, who's real, who isn't. I think that um, there might be there might be some looping going on here with friends, with family, with relations, with associates. Um, things don't seem to be evolving, and I, I don't know that you know why. I, I think you're trying to like. I think you're starting to see some things. Maybe you know. Um, maybe one of your friends went a different route or somebody you know went a different route and things are working out for them and maybe you're still kind of back here in this situation where you were before and you're kind of thinking, how did they get out of this? How did they... 
How did they branch out? Because it's like you have desires too. I don't know how pressing and burning they are in this situation, but it's like you have desires too. You want advancement. Maybe you feel kind of like you're stuck, like you don't know how to get out of it. Maybe you feel like you're being bamboozled. <laughs> That's a word that came to me. Whatever that is. Or maybe you feel like you're being tricked. Or maybe you feel like you're being... Um, misled could be you could see other people making benefits from something that maybe you've put time and effort into and you're starting to question some things here and wonder about it maybe there's some people that have um, motives that are around you that are not in your best interest could be people that you're collaborating with could be people that you hang out with Maybe you've turned your back on some things that everybody wants to do or would like for you to do and you know they don't want to see you move forward or they don't want to see you leave out of this tribe or this trajectory. Whatever it is in this situation, it has to do with influence of people that you are in co-collaboration with. Could be family, could be friends, could be a specific friend and I think that things are not moving the way that they are supposed to be moving they're not evolving and you're, you're starting you know something feels off to you so because you got your energy the ace of swords like that's the whole truth and nothing but the truth so, <laughs> so you're wanting some kind of clarity here on some sort of issues that seem to be misguiding you along the way. Things are not moving, evolving. Things are not changing. Things are not growing. So let's see what the challenge or the opportunity here is for you. Because we got the Six of Wands. That is about perseverance, overcoming. Um, wanting for something better. We have a six of swords, so you got two sixes in here. So this is about moving forward on something, but it's also about weathering the storm as well, whatever that means, whatever the storm is here for you. This one wants to pop out. Ace of Cups, this could be something that has to do um, in a love relationship or a connection that's very, very close to you or connections. And we have the fool coming through. And the fool could be about taking a risk here. I think for some of you, you're trying to find the truth out of a situation here. And you want to come out on the other side smelling pretty sweet so the opportunity or the challenge for you is to um maybe move away from this so you can see it from the outside in rather than from the inside out um for others of you it might be taking a risk or venturing off on your own for new love for others for some of you it might be stepping back Removing yourself from the situation so you can see the bigger picture. Um, and understanding love from a different perspective. This could be a global love. This could be a love, you know, for siblings. Like if there's twins, they're breaking free from each other, each going their own route. If this is about a relationship, this could be about friendships kind of removing yourself from the situation so you can see the bigger picture. Maybe you want to start over again in this arena. But whatever you do, you got the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Cups. So this is definitely about seeing clearly, understanding things, having um, 
relationships and connections that are authentic, that are real, that evolve, that help you grow, that help you learn, and that develop. So it's kind of almost like starting over. So let's see what the Ten of Wands is. This is what life is helping you with. So there's, there's a lot on your plate here. I think too, for some others of you, this is about also following your curiosity about what love is. Exploration, Six of Swords, exploration. Following your curiosity about what, what your cup overfloweth really means. When it's standing in truth, when it's standing in authenticity, when it's standing in um, clarity, when it's standing in reciprocity. So we have the Hierophant. Could be about marriage. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody who is in a committed relationship or a binding contract here truly feels overburdened by it. They want their freedom. They want their independence. I don't know if this is you or if this is another person. Somebody here does not secretly, is not saying it, but they don't want to work together anymore. They've kind of turned their back. They're not being honest. They're being deceitful. They're not saying how they really feel. They're not coming out with it. Emotionally, they may have turned away. They may be there physically, but emotionally, they've kind of checked out. Feel free to swap around the characters as need be. This could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. You would know if you've checked out of a relationship. That just doesn't seem to be. And maybe you haven't brought it to the forefront. Maybe you haven't talked about it. Or this other person has not talked about it. But somebody who's in a binding contract secretly wants their independence. I think they feel like it's too much. They've taken on. They've bitten off more than they can chew. Can you want to, want to give me one more on that? One more, one more. Maybe it doesn't want to. Yeah, they want a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning here. Somebody wants a tangible new beginning. You got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. Carefree, no worries, no problems. Somebody wants to escape a, to escape a situation and come out smelling pretty good on the other side. You also have the Ace of Wands here. All four Aces are here. Pisces. So the desire, <laughs> there's a lot of desire coming through. Um, new trajectory. Are you communicating this effectively? I don't know that you're saying how you really feel. It looks like somebody might be trying to sneak out the back door here. Sideways. So let's see what the Nine of Wands is. Some walls have been built up here. Some walls have been built up. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the King of Cups. know if there's two people involved here there could be for a few of you we've got the king of pentacles and we've got the king of cups could be an earth sign cancer pisces scorpio could be a water sign um i mean earth sign taurus capricorn virgo or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um but i think that you know You've made the provisions necessary. You've put in the time and the effort. Um, but you're just not willing to participate in opening up your heart anymore. I think financially and materially, 
you've done what you wanted or needed to do in this situation. But I think emotionally, um, you just, it's just not there. You just don't want to. It just feels like a burden. So the opportunity is coming for you to unwind yourself out of this or to set yourself free from this. Whether the other person does it for you or whether you decide to do it yourself. So what is this opportunity coming your way within the next zero to three months? What is this? What does Pisces need to know about this opportunity? <laughs> Run. Um, I think some kind of message is going to come through for you. Some kind of action is going to be taking that has to do with a very important connection to you. I don't know. I mean, it seems to be a little bit impulsive. Whether you're doing this or you're communicating this or the other person is communicating this. But I think the way to unravel this is to start communicating. Yeah, strength. To find the courage to be able to speak your mind um, in a kind, compassionate way. Whether this person decides to stage right exit left or you decide to stage right exit left it is about communicating your voice find the courage and the strength to be able to speak how you feel how you're feeling what this uh, experience is like for you where you're at so far in this journey how it's processing out in your life how it's making you feel how it's making you react how it's making you um not making because we all make our own choices how it is um, influencing your home environment, your work environment, your friends environment. Do you ha even have your own friends or is everything interconnected here? Maybe it's to release some of the fear that you might have pent up about speaking your truth or saying what you really want to say or communicating the message you can communicate it with love and respect for the other person as well yeah with compassion and understanding but sincere clarity again we've got the king of cups coming through here as well so some of you might be heading towards an air sign. Some of you might be heading towards a water sign or are leaving a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio will be behind and heading towards an air sign because we've got um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in an opportunity coming forward. And we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in um, how this is going to play out. And we have the emperor down here, fire sign. It's a lot of players here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to untangle here, Pisces. My goodness. You got all the kings here. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Swords, and... Oh, is the King of Wands here? No, but the Emperor is. I think that the longer that you pretend in this situation, the worse it's going to get whether the other person's doing it or you're doing it the more that you are able to find the courage and the strength to confront it with love and compassion and allow somebody else to do either what they want to do or for you to do what you want to do without devastating the better off this is going to turn out for you so let's see what the ace of wands in is but this is the, this is your asset in the situation this is your strength this is what you have going for you that there's a strong desire to start over again there's a strong desire to um, reboot I 
I think you feel like this is going to cause a lot of problems, arguments, discord. I think you feel like it's going to cause a lot of confusion. Um, that it's going to put a lot of different variables and twists on the situation. But I also think that in this situation, you've kind of weighed out your options. And, and it just seems to be a no-win situation. And I think you've got a good grasp on that, understanding that. If in the past you have argued your way or started fights or fights have been started to kind of separate yourself from the situation, um, I don't know that that's where you need to go in this one. I, I think that change there can be change without, um, there might be some headaches, there might be some, um, you know, somebody sees it one way, somebody else sees it the other way. I don't know that you have to defend or argue your point, which maybe that's what you've done in the past. I think at this point, there's just so many variables going on um, that maybe what you need to say is just what you need to say. Ace of Swords. What you need to say is just what you need to say and be honest about it and be authentic and be truthful. So let's see what this outside influence is because we got the emperor in here. So that's Aries showing up. So maybe it's dealing with somebody who's very... This person might be... in recovery from an illness right now. That's for some of you. Um, maybe this person's in a recovery from an illness right now. But I think whoever this influ influence is on the outside that's influencing this, they have a lot of clout here. They have a lot of clout. You got the lovers. It's Gemini energy coming in. And we got the Three of Swords. So, um, this is a difficult conversation that's just going to have to be had. There has to be, a decision needs to be made in order for healing to occur. It's just, it's, you know, it's a difficult conversation that's going to have to be had. It, I don't know that anybody's going to come out of here smelling like roses. I think you want to. I think you want to be able to come out of this feeling a little bit more like you have some sort of control on this. But I think that it's feeling like the other person whoever this other person is seems to have more of the This could be fear of failure too, and you might need to heal from that. Feeling like a relationship has failed. But there definitely is going to be a difficult conversation had here between two people that have a very strong connection. And in order to heal this connection, um, and in order to help it come to a place of um, stability, or come to a place of like, reciprocity or come to a place where it can be where it can rest give me one more this emperor is bugging me for another four
I think maybe you want to move on to somebody else or somebody else wants to move on to somebody else. And I, I think there's some kind of influence from the outside. This could be, you know, like maybe somebody's parent or somebody's um, significant other or somebody's like older adult child or some, something like that um, might be being affected in this. Uh, all, all I can say about this is there's going to have to be a difficult conversation had between two people in order for this to heal and to stabilize. And it is going to take some kind of structure, some kind of courage, some kind of like leadership ability to be able to do it. You could be dealing with somebody who's in a very like authoritative position. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here, or heading towards a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. You may feel like that's where your healing is. That's where you're going to find your stability. Um, but before you take off in that direction, or <laughs> this person takes off in that direction, there needs to be a very difficult conversation had here. And so this is kind of where mm, maybe you might be hanging on or they might be hanging on a little bit to possessions, maybe hanging on to um, belongings, maybe hanging on to some things that are important to you. Yep, Four of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles again and the Devil. Capricorn energy coming through here. This is just going to muck you up. Hanging on to anything here is going to muck you up. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop this process of you being able to unwind yourself from this. It's also an aspect of fear. Yeah, we got Libra energy coming in. Um, I think you're trying to, the next step is to release what doesn't belong to you and to balance, like allow the scales to balance themselves out. Allow things to be able to um, be in the place that it's supposed to be without like this is mine, that is yours, you know, or hanging on to things to either for payback, for revenge, for um, or just to hang on to because you know maybe you want that door open for a later date. <laughs> Or maybe this other person wants the door open for a later date. Um, in order to heal this, you're going to have to let go of that control. And in order to move on to where you really truly want to go to a place that's authentic and real for you, you're going to have to let go of that control. Because I think you want a new beginning. I think you I think you genuinely want a new beginning. And you want independence. There's a lot here that doesn't belong here anymore. But I think in some ways you might be avoiding the push-pull that comes with that. And you're trying to figure out maybe in a, a plan to where there's some avoidance where you don't have to do that. That's a form of control. To be able to just say what you need to say and let it, you know, 
let let it play out however it needs to play out to release that fear so let's see what the hanged man is because this is a big picture I, I don't think you want to be caught in limbo here I think you just want a smooth transition we have the three of cups And we have the Seven of Swords again. That guy just wants to be persistent here. Um, try not to get caught up in the illusion of this new beginning. Try not to get caught up in... Um, yeah, we got judgment coming through. Um... Try to see things for what they are. I, I think, you know, there might be some friends around you that, that might have some influence that might not be in your best interest. I don't think that it's good to get stuck. Um, it doesn't look like it's good to, like, put yourself in a situation where you need to make more sacrifices for anybody. Friends, family, people. Um, because then you're just heading down the same path you just tried to get out of. Or where you have to like, like this new, don't let this new found freedom. You're going to have to go through some of the healing process. You're going to have to go through releasing some things. You're going to have to let go of control. You're going to have to speak some of your truth. You're going to have to work on finding your courage and your balance before you jump into anything else. There needs to be a time where you are by yourself, alone, working through some of these issues, working through some of the things that maybe, you know, had gotten you here in the first place. Because some realizations and awarenesses need to come through. That's the big picture of seeing where you may have misled yourself or where you had been misled. So let's see what the king, you're coming out with the king of swords. So the awareness is coming in and you're, you're making a judgment call and you're, you're understanding the situation from a bigger perspective. So clarify one on the king of cup, king of swords, please. We have the page of wands. That's what's going to give you your, your, that's what's going to give you, you're, you're coming right back from where you were at the beginning, the overall energy. That's what's going to trigger or the catalyst to trigger things forward, is to see this situation very, very clearly and not have clouded judgment. So the direction of the energy, whether this is you or this is the other person who, who wants, you know, to not be here anymore, whether this is you or it's the other person, the blame game of who's to blame in this is what needs to be released. And I'm taking mine and you take yours and this is mine or I'm hanging on to this or I'm hanging on to that. That's part of the fear process, the devil, that really needs to look at the cause and effect of what that is. What is that all about? What is the cause and effect here? Um, how does that balance anything out? To be fair, to do the right thing, to be, to be, um, to face your fears head on. And that means having that difficult conversation. And somebody else doesn't need to be added into the mix right away, or somebody else doesn't need to, need to be like, put on a, you know, on a trophy shelf, like, look, I've already moved on, this is what I've done. Regardless whether the other person has done it or not, um, if you're going to stand in your truth of something, you know, it, it doesn't need to be shown to everybody. It doesn't need to be paraded around. It doesn't need to be, move away from that. That concept or that idea. Because this seems to me to be an eye for an eye. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. The next steps. An eye for an eye. Tit for tat. So you go, <laughs> there's a lot of people in here. 
We've got um, we've got Aquarius. We've got Taurus. We've got Leo. We've got Pisces and Cancer. We've got um, Sagittarius coming through. We've got Capricorn. We've got Libra. We've got Gemini. We've got Aries. We've got Scorpio. Air signs are really loud. So I'm going to do Gemini. Well, you got Gemini and Libra. And the fire signs. We've got Aries, we got Sag, and we've got um, Aries, Leo, Sag. All Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm going to go through in the extended as well. So we'll dive a little bit deeper into this. I, you know, I, I kind of see this energy as you, but then on the other hand, I also see that you're very confused and hurt by it all. So I'm not sure who's what here. But either way it goes, there needs to be some time of just hanging out, not doing anything, and processing this information. Because if, if, if the goal here is to think that somebody else is going to bring you happiness and you haven't really changed what didn't bring you happiness before this or, you know, being in committed relationships or commitment before this, it, it's just going to filter itself into the next phase. So that's what really has to be... Um, acknowledged and looked at and the right thing needs to be done here on both sides so that moving forward um, it doesn't filter in into the next venture that you're going into and you got a lot of aces here I mean this is a lot of fresh air coming in a lot of you know brand new energy um, things to be excited about things to have passion about but you want to do it the right way Right? Ace of Swords. Your current energy. You want to do it the right way. And the channel is not to per the challenge is not to parade it around. Move away from that. So I was talking. <laughs> I'm getting um, wisdom and advice for you. This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Sorry. Um, something tangible that you can work with. So we have number 50, Cherite, and we have number 24, Oralite. So if you start seeing the number 50, that's a synchronicity. This is about wound healing. <clears throat> Cherite provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. With its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. Chariot re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities, healing past life dis-ease carried into the present life. Your self-understanding in this is to um, your deep fears and schisms are pervading your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth or your alienated and insecurity lies beneath a deceptive calm surface. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your autonomic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. It's time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past life suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. Your healing insight right now is in accepting the present moment as perfect. You create the space to heal. Your soul path is service to humanity and healing wounds of the past. That's Cherolite and then Oralite. The Soul Connector. Oralite 23 has a sedative effect on the mind, stilling it so that the profound healing and conscious connection within your soul, the universal mind, and higher dimensions occurs. Self-understanding, you are a multi-layered soul on a course of accelerated spiritual growth. 
You came to Earth to share your knowledge. You have an ability to move between different dimensions and to anchor new vibrations into the Earth plane. The slowness and seemingly impossibility of this task have brought disillusionment and discontent, but do not despair. Raise your own consciousness and others will follow. Recognize that you are an integral part of humanity. Create yourself in inner peace and connect to your higher mind before making a decision. Beneficial contracts come through friends and family. It's not so much what you know as whom that counts right now. And that includes higher being, beings. Your healing insight is to aligning to as above, so below, as without, so within. Leads to a sense of rightness and immense well-being. Your soul path is reconnection of ego, soul, and higher consciousness. So that's Cherylite and Aurora Light 23. So that's what I have for you this week, Pisces. I hope this helped. Pointers and guidelines to help you on your way. Um, and until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. For those of you going on, the link to the extended is in the description box below, and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.